hi guys do you know i made this hair in under 30 minutes just keep on watching this video if you want to see how i achieved it hi guys good morning welcome back to my youtube channel um my name is pamela in case you're new here i'm um, with based in cardinal state nigeria so, like i'm doing my natural hair journey right now and um I'm growing my hair again like I've been cutting my hair for like two years if I'm not mistaken so yeah I just want to be showing you guys like um, very simple natural hairstyles you can do by yourself because I'm a DIY person so and you can't be a naturalist and then not know how to do your hair right so I'm just going to be showing you this very simple hairstyle sorry for the noise in the background like I just wanted to talk this like talk in this very clip and then go ahead to do a voiceover in the remaining so guys if you want to see how I achieved um the video you just saw in the first um clip just keep on watching but let me quickly show you guys what i'll be using it's very simple so i'll be using my large hook i'll be using this um this what's it called afro hair share kinky kinky something it's from darling the product is a darling product sorry for the noise in the background again you guys know i use darling like for most of my stuff so it comes like this but it comes in and this is actually long so i'm going to have to cut it you guys i'm trying to i'm trying to be loud so that you can hear me i am going to cut it into two and then already i had my i i had my hair braided like this because i'm trying to do a like half up stuff so i got somebody to help me do the braiding you know and then i'm going to do the back so if you guys want to see it's a very very simple and easy hairstyle that you can just sit down and do in like how many hours it's not going to take um much of your time but yeah if you want to see how i come up with that just keep on watching this video please subscribe to my channel you guys you guys that watch my videos know that i am trying i am trying right so please subscribe to the channel um don't skip this video watch to the end it helps with my watch hours <coughs> i don't know why i'm sneezing it helps with my watch hours and as a growing um, youtuber i actually need those watch hours so please if you're watching my video just watch to the end even if you're not interested in it just allow it to play my videos are not long 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 so please i'm begging i'm begging you in the name of god watch this video to the end i also go back and watch other videos i have you might be interested in some of the things i have posted so yeah guys let's just get into the video let me stop talking because if you allow me i'm going to talk for so long so yeah keep on watching this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy if you end up enjoy watching it um so the first thing i did was to cut the hair into two because it was quite long and even after cutting i still had to trim you guys so i think you can cut it into three if you're not looking for something long after cutting i just proceeded to get a bowl of water to put the hair into um somebody gave me this idea to always you know put put the hair in water before i start to reduce the tangling and then to reduce all those fly aways and all so i'm just showing you the hair right uh this zigzag on you are seeing that you're seeing that is not perfect i did it myself only got help with the with the straights all back so i just started with my large hook or crochet pin just doing the normal um crochet styling stuff put the hair use your pin put it through the the um, braid then secure it pull it out and then um make a knot and that is all uh yeah i did it and uh this method is different from what i used at the top but i'm going to show you guys and i'm going to tell you why um that's because sha let me just get here first before i explain anyways so i did this you know follow the whole line and sorry the, what did i say the whole line jesus i followed the whole line and i just kept on doing the same thing and i didn't even use the whole pack i think i used just half because i had i still had um i still had a lot remaining or oh, let me not say a lot i still had like half of it remaining probably because i just did i just um did half had it been i was to do maybe the whole of my head then i would have probably used more than um i have probably used the whole one pack or more than one but yeah can you see how this thing is looking like it's my hair like the um the color pattern of the stuff it's really looking nice i've been contemplating trying uh, making a wig like making a an afro wig but with a frontal what do you guys think would you want to see something like that 
you want to see please let me know here i was re- removing my earring because it was um holding the hair like the hair was getting stuck in my earring so i had to remove it so i continued here i'm on the third line almost getting to the end guys i'm loving the pattern i'm seeing jesus it's really looking like my hair please tell me if you want if you want me to see uh, if you want to see me make a wig right so um the top i was talking about is now you notice when i was doing it the other times i was putting the pin from the top to the bottom that's through the hair but for here i am putting it from the under that's from the bottom to the top and then how i am tying it is different just watch as I'm pulling it through, I'm only taking one hair, one one part of the hair through the this thing, through the knots, and then the other part that is up, I'm just bringing it down. That is because it's going to not, it's not going to give it that knot look. The part that stays up and then you bring down is going to make it, it's going to cover up the knot, so it's just going to look like it is your actual hair. That is a trick, you guys. If you're doing your knot, um, if you're doing your crochet, um, whatever it is that is crochet, sha. And you don't want it to show that you actually made a knot, then do it this way, okay? You can see I continue doing it. Sorry, I could not zoom because uh, I should have zoomed anyways. But yeah, I'm putting it through the bottom, then pull it, and then just take one part of the hair through the knot, not the two. One part through, you see? The other part you are bringing down now is going to cover the top. So it's not going to be all those knots are really not, um, all those knots are not going to be visible so yeah guys uh that's that i just did this to the end of it and it really it didn't really take me i'm even saying 30 minutes it didn't take me up to 20 minutes i'm sure it didn't take me up to 20 minutes that's because i already had the hair braided <clears throat> but yeah i just continued the whole thing it's something it's not something stressful like i said as a natural hair person or even if you want to just do your hair you know there are things that you just need to learn to do by yourself it's not all the time you have to go to the salon to go and pay money for them to do this for you if you go to the salon you're going to pay a lot because i mean they are going to really charge you for their service but it's something you can just sit down and do just get somebody to help you braid the front and then do the back if you can't do the back yourself and yeah guys that's it like that was just it sorry i'm i don't know if i, I was just talking too much but that's just you can see so um i kind of trimmed it because some parts were longer and 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 all that even after trimming here i still went ahead to trim but i didn't show the parts on camera so i was um <clears throat> i was um putting my my mirror in place so i could see what i was doing so yeah i just trimmed you know trimmed the parts that were long um, I don't want to trim too much because I wanted it to have the fluffy look. And I kind of feel like I should have made the braid to not go so low. I don't know. Do you guys think it's too low or it's okay like this? Maybe if I'm going to do this side again, I'm not going to make the braid to go so low. But this is fine though. This is not bad. So yeah, I think I trimmed again or not okay yeah that was all and then i'm just using my edge control to lay my edges you guys this is how my i don't have full edges okay naturally i don't have full full edges and then the edges are very sensitive if i do very tight hairstyles i end up losing them but if i allow them if i allow the hair it actually grows but it is not full so that's why when i braid my hair it looks as if my hair is gone but my hair is not actually gone i have the edges it is there can you see where my hair is starting from it's actually starting from my forehead but it's just that i have really scanty edges and that's not my fault that is what god gave me so nobody should come and tell me yeah 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 anyways guys i just did my edges and um i actually did my eyebrow just so i don't look anyhow in this video because i was not going to do that but i ended up doing it anyways so yeah just get any edge control you know to just lay your edges flat and it's just going to make you look much more um um presentable it's just going to make the hair look much presentable too and i didn't add any extension to the braid i did did i mention i didn't add anything i just used my hair yeah so that's that about this video you guys it's very simple it's not tax tax skin i'll be taxing it's not it's not sure going to stress you that's the point i'm trying to make is something you can just sit down and do especially if you don't want to stress your hair if you're if you're trying to 
maybe give your hair a break from maybe all the hairstyles you've been doing this is something you can do very easily i don't know for how long i'm going to take this hair for but i think i'm going to take it for a long time because right now i don't have the strength to sit down to braid and i also don't want to leave my hair like that you know not looking presentable i mean this is something very simple and i can actually go out with this so yeah that is it guys that is all about this hair tell me what you think about this video should i do more of this and um yeah just keep on following me on my hair journey you know and see i think I'll, I'll try to be posting um videos like me doing my hair from time to time you know to be showing you guys um some really cool hairstyles you can do that will not really um take much of your money you know yeah so you guys that's it that's that for this video i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe subscribe and um Give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.